And in this tutorial, I'll be talking about Firebase and SQL, which is the SQL versus NoSQL. No I'll be comparing the two. And as this time I'll be using Firebase in most of my programs, I'll be talking a little more in detail about Firebase. So let's get started. Now first let's talk about SQLite, the database I used to use earlier. SQLite is a local database on Android device and it has an SQL interface. Okay, that's what I used to use earlier. Now talking about Firebase and it's amazing. Firebase is a cloud service and Firebase is a no SQL database. Data is stored and processed in a cloud and to access them, a device needs internet connection. More differences between SQLite and, uh, and NoSQLite. Uh, and no, no SQLite. Data integrity. SQL is strict and has data integrity, but on the other hand, NoSQL is flexible and is controlled by the developer. Schema. SQL has a schema and NoSQL has a JSON in uh, a JSON and uh, in which you add more collections. Uh, more collections. Now data storage. In SQL data is stored as records in a table and in Firebase database data is stored in the form of a JSON. Okay? So now let's talk about how to connect the Firebase database to your program and how to use the database. Okay? Connecting the Firebase database. So instructions are there in the Firebase website and you will follow the instructions to connect it. Declaration. Along, alongside other declarations, you also need to declare a variable for the database. Okay. Now let's talk about class creation. We also build, uh, we also need to build receiving classes or information that is returned from the database. When you ask for the information, it's going to return information and you need a class to receive it. Okay. Now this class will reflect the key value uh, pairs in the JSON. Let's uh, talk in detail about using the Firebase database. The, uh, grab the DB and the reference. Get the database instance and grab the reference. The reference in your collection or sub-collection in the JSON. Now let's talk about the data snapshot. What's a data snapshot? It's the, re the reference typically returns a data snapshot or a blog to a blog of in information. Okay? We iterate through the snapshot or the blog and we get the right data and we need to give it to the parent. Okay, like if you're searching for the age, you need to iterate through the blog and find the age and then give it back to the thing. Okay? Now let's move on to the computer so that I can show you more about Firebase database which I'm going to be using in my program. So guys, right now I'll be showing you um, Firebase, then we'll be moving on to the JSON and finally I'll be showing you how my app works. So before we get started, let me tell you what my app does. So my, you uh, just like Uber, you enter the name of a driver and it gives you all the information about the driver like the age, the registration number and all that. Okay. So let's go to Safari and it's up Firebase. Okay. So this is Firebase. And if you have not yet linked your project to Firebase, then you're going to click get started. If you don't know anything, you're going to click watch the video. But if you have already linked it, then you're going to go to console. And that's exactly what I've done. So I'm going to go to console. Okay, so here I have two Uber projects. Um, that's because I screwed up don't do what I did um, now this small Android sort of picture in the end I think this shows that it's linked to my project so I'm gonna click that yeah it's the right one so now we're gonna go to database on this side and here I have my JSON okay so you click this plus to expand it and then there will be one child okay if you're wondering what one child is then that's what you call that um that part of the json okay like here i'm only doing it for drivers so the child is drivers okay but if i was doing it for cabs or something else then it's gonna be cabs okay 
gonna click this plus and we have another million drivers like there are so many so yeah um now what i'm gonna do is um, i'm just gonna show you one example for example we take santiago okay random but yeah and you click this plus you have his age which is 54 you have his first name which is santiago you have the id which is 3205 you have the last name which is new and you have the number which is ka4166 okay so it's like that for every single person or driver here so yeah now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to firebase i mean i'm gonna go to android studio sorry and here i'm gonna show you what i've written so here i'm gonna go to my second activity which is where i've done all my main code so here i'm gonna first show you all the declarations okay you're supposed to declare a variable for the database firebase and declare a variable for the reference okay so i've done that already right here okay and now um this is the main program and all so let's move on to the class creations okay now you'll be wondering how we'll be getting all the information into the variables and printing them out in the end and all so yeah that was that's what happens okay that's called a data snapshot you get information of the data snapshot and with the help of a class you're going to filter it into the right um right variables and yeah by iterating through it so that class is driver info for me so that i've done that with the help of get and set you get the information and set it to the variable okay so yeah like just like the name so yeah this is my class and now um i'm going to be showing you the you know i already mentioned the data snapshot earlier the reference typically returns the data snapshot or a blob okay let's call it the blob and we iterate through the blob and find the right data for the given primary key okay we instantiate a receiving class okay now yeah so as you can see we're iterating the data snapshot right here okay so yeah let's get the program running i'm gonna click run gonna wait for it and I click it yeah so um just gonna click okay here we have the emulator which is ready and now since I wanna search for a driver since I wanna search for a driver I'm just gonna go to Firebase and choose a random driver. In this case, we've already chosen Santiago right here. Okay, so let's just try with the name Santiago. Let's go to my app, which is. project let's just click that and enter San Diego try that okay let's verify shall we great um here we have Santiago we have his last name which is new we have his age and we have the number and if we want to return to the previous page we have the return button too so that's great isn't it should we try one more name 
what about first name or last name and id and all are just to verify so it's the c s t okay so let's enter that This is how my app works and it it reads through the data snapshot and gets all the data. So yeah, that's all about Firebase. Thanks for watching. Bye.